Alright, hello everybody. This is Space here, so, and we're going to be working on mass today. I received a comment in the bottom part of my um, Naruto part for that MEP, and yeah, this one. So I wanted, wanted a tutorial on this mask right here. So, with you know figures what I'm showing y'all how to go about that. Niggas ain't playing with you know. Oh, nice. So, I'm just gonna hop right into it. Get an A. Alright, I'm going to import my footage. Um, right here. as long as the mask is so I'm going to drag it in here and um so what we're gonna do drag that right there when does it end right about here so cut that off backspace so we have this now so every frame that has movement we're going to like split it. So besides from backgrounds, that really doesn't move the character we're masking. Just kind of moves the background. It doesn't make a difference really in the mask. So I'm just going to do it like that. Split it there. Split it there. Split it there. That's about it. So now to the meat of it all. We're going to use the pen tool here to cut cut them out. Um, I'm probably gonna do a, a, a really rushed way of doing this because you know y'all don't want to sit here for a long time. I'm still gonna fast forward this, but it's gonna be like a little kind of rushed mask. It's not gonna be like perfect. To take, do not do exactly what I'm doing. Make your mask more more precise. You know, like along the edges of the character. Don't just go all like I am. <laughs> Alright, so that's how you really start masking generally. This is obviously a really trashy mask. I was rushing, you know. Um, so yeah, see? See how it, the movement in the background doesn't affect the mask at all? So that's basically how you just cut it out. I'm gonna show you how to do a little, you know, make it kind of jump. Alright, so, alright, now we're done. We really just cut them out in a really trash way. I, just remember, don't do this in an actual edit don't mask mask literally along the edges of the character don't do this trashy thing that I did okay so now what we're going to do we're going to pre pre-compose yes okay so Alright, and so, now what we want to do is is make the, well, not, not make the, apply some real smart motion blur. And I personally like to use 1.20 and turn my motion, motion sensitivity up a little bit. Mm-hmm. This is like the blur. Hold on, let me. Oops. Back. 
So you see that this is just a general mask with real smart motion blur on it. All right, now time for the little transition. All right, so we're just gonna go to transform position. We're only gonna be working with the uh, Y position, so separate dimensions. All right, so what we're going to do drag this all the way down. Make, make sure you turn on motion blur too, because if you do the specific mask, then the arm will be chopped off. But never do a mask where like the, the a top piece of your character is like chopped off. Never really mess with that. But the but the blur kind of covered it. We couldn't get a look at it, so we're gonna set it down there and drag it there. Hit reset. So, we're going to easy ease, and now we're going to go into the, gra the graph editor. So, what we're going to do, okay, I'm going to drag this one out, and, oops, drag this one up, at right there, drag this one upward. Should probably shouldn't do this too far. Wait, no, I need to fix that. Okay, so I should probably drag this one out instead. There we go. So this is the graph you would use for this, and uh, that's just about it. Remember, make them, I know I've said this a lot, just make sure the mask is cleaner. Don't do what I did again. Please don't, or it will end up looking really bad. But that's just basically how you, how I did my mask in. Just this graph right here, R C B, in a little position, keep framing. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, I hope this helped you all, and just comment any questions or requests you have in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video, and have a great day.